Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 7, Lesson 6. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. So I can solve an addition or subtraction word problem by solving an equation to model the problem. And the learning objective says write equations to solve addition and subtraction problems. The prior learning is that students recognized and generated equivalent fractions. Students added and subtracted mixed numbers with like denominators, and students solved problems involving addition and subtraction of fractions. All right, so moving into the lesson on page 171, we're given a problem that says, after a run, Jared drinks one and three-fourths cup of water. His sister, Emily, drinks one and a half cups more than Jared. How much water does Emily drink? So for A, we want to draw a bar model to represent the problem. So the amount that Jared drinks is one and three-fourths cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a bar like this, and I'm going to say this is worth one and three-fourths or one and three-quarters. For the amount that Emily drinks, she drinks one and a half cups more than that. So she drinks all of his one and three-fourths, but also another one and a half more than that. So this is the amount that she drinks. This is her water, All right? And so this part, this section here is gonna be represented as the one and a half more than. All right, so for B, now that we did the bar graph, we wanna write an equation for how much water she drinks. So we have our one and we have our three fourths. And if we add it, to the one and a half, that'll give us how much water that Emily drank. And then for C, we want to estimate our answer. So one and three fourths is pretty close, close enough to two for me to estimate. And then because I can either estimate lower or higher, because my one and a half is right in the middle, I'm actually just going to keep it one and a half because I know I can add that pretty easily. So two plus one and a half would be three and a half. So for D, it says rename the mixed numbers with equivalent fractions using a common denominator, then solve. So we have two parts here. We need to be making those common denominators first, and then we can solve for the answer. So my one and three fourths and my one and a half, my common denominator is going to be something that four and two can both multiply to be that number and that's going to be 4. So I'm going to leave my 1 and 3 fourths as is, and when I add my 1 and a half, I'm just going to make that 1 and 2 fourths. All right, so now I've made my equivalent fractions using my common denominators. Now I need to solve. So 1 plus 1 is 2. 3 plus 2 is 5 with my denominator of 4. So I know that my numerator of 5 is too big. So what I would normally do with my 5 fourths is I would transform it into a mixed number, which would be 1 and 1 fourth. My 1 and my 2 would then combine to be 3. So I'm going to say 3 and 1 fourth here. And again, I'm just going to say that one more time. If I had 5 over 4, I'm going to change that into a mixed number. 4 goes into 5 one whole time, and then I have 1 fourth left over. All I did here was I took that one whole and I combined it with my 2 to make it 3 and 1 fourth, the fraction that was left over. All right, moving on to E. How much water does Emily drink? Well, we just found out that she drinks 3 and 1 fourth, and then our units that we were using here was cups. And then F, is this answer reasonable? That's always a very important question to ask. My answer was three and one fourth. Go back up to C. My estimated answer is three and a half. Are those very close? Yes. So is my answer reasonable? Yes, because it's close to the estimate. All right, great. Let's go ahead and flip the page to 172. And again, I'm just going to be doing the problems above the red dotted line. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. 
All right, for number two, it says, after school, Sandra walks to the library. Then she walks home. What is the distance from the school to the library? So if you look over to this yellow um, rectangle over to the right, it has a red circle for school, and then it goes to the library. We don't know that distance. That's what we're trying to find out. But we do know that the library to home is one and three-fourths miles, and then we also know that the school all the way to home is a total of five and two-eighths miles. So we're just trying to find out that little section from school to the library. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and read through the problems and then give you a chance to solve them on your own before we solve them together. So for A, it says write an addition equation and a related subtraction equation. So you're doing both. You're doing an addition problem and a subtraction problem. And you wanna be using D for the distance. So the part that you don't know, that question mark, go ahead and use D in your equation. B, I just want you to estimate your answer, and I want you to do this using the subtraction problem. Okay, use the subtraction problem to estimate your answer. For C, rename the mixed numbers as an equivalent fraction with a common denominator, just like we've been doing. Then find the distance from the school to the library. Remember when it says rename, that, that means you are going to be have to um, changing that mixed number a little bit so that it'll work with your subtraction problem. All right, and then D, is your answer reasonable? Is your final answer close enough to be the number that you estimated? If it is, great. If not, go ahead and try it again before you push play. All right, go ahead and push pause and try these few problems now. All right, great. Let's go ahead and jump into these problems. So for write an addition problem, I know that my distance from school to the library, so I'm going to say D, when I add that distance to the one and three fourths that I know from the library to home, that is a total of five and two eighths. For my subtraction, I know that if I take my five and two eighths and take away my one and three fourths, that's going to find me that total distance. That's actually the better problem for how we're going to solve because we want the part that we don't know to be on the other side of the equal sign so we can solve for it. So 5 and 2 eighths minus my 1 and 3 fourths, that's going to be equal to my distance. Okay, so now I need to estimate my answer. So 5 and 2 eighths is pretty close to 5, right? It's not quite in the middle yet, so I'm just going to say 5, subtracting, and then my 1 and 3 quarters is much closer to 2 than it is to the half mark, so I'm just going to say 2. And that's pretty easy. We know that our answer should be somewhere around three. All right, so let's go ahead and move into C. It says rename the mixed number as equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Then find the distance from the school to the library. So remember I'm subtracting and I have my five and two eighths minus my one and three fourths. I wanna find common denominators between eight and four. So when I do that, I'm going to have five and two eighths because my denominator gets to stay eight between eight and four. And then I only have to multiply my numerator and denominator by two. So now I'm subtracting and I have one multiply both by two. So that's going to be eight and six. Okay, so if I were going to subtract here, I would have 5 minus 1 would be 4, and then 2 minus 6 I can't do. So this is when we need to go back and rename. So I'm going to borrow from my 5 and make my numerator larger, just like we did a couple lessons ago. So borrow from my 5 and make it a 4. That one hole that I just borrowed is going to turn into an 8 over 8. And the reason I'm making it an 8 over 8 is because my common denominator in this problem is already 8. And I know from prior knowledge that any number over itself is equal to one hole. So I have my 8 over 8. I'm going to add back that two eighths that I left out. Now my new mixed number that I'm renaming is going to be 4 and 10 eighths. Now I can bring down my 1 and 6 8 to subtract, and that's going to be equal to 4 minus 1 is going to be 3. My 10 minus 6 is going to be 4, 
and eighths. And if you wanted to simplify that, you can, and it would be three and a half. Okay. So is my answer reasonable and explained for D? My answer is reasonable because the answer I got was three and a half and I thought my answer was going to be three. It's not like my answer was 12 or anything out of the ordinary like that. It was very close to my estimate. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes because it was close to the estimate. All right. That is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems, and I will see you back here next time for Module 8, Lesson 1.